Hello friends, welcome to Coding Jackpot. In this video, we are going to see how we can use multiple layout pages or we can say multiple master pages in Blazor server and we are going to use the .NET 6 version. So usually whenever we uh, select any uh, Blazor server app and in that Blazor server app, we get this default structure like we get this header and we get the side menu and in between this uh, header and side menu, our child pages are loaded. So this is like a master page. This uh, side menu and the header are part of the master page and the child pages are getting loaded in the body section of this. But what we are going to do is like we want something like we want the log login and register page. For example, if I click on login, uh, register, then this register page is loaded. If I click on login, then again the login page is loaded. So here, <coughs> so this login and register page doesn't have this uh, header as well as it doesn't have the side menu. So and also, if I click on admin team, then I'm getting an admin dashboard. Okay, so here I have certain options and I'm getting the ad admin dashboard. If I click on logout, then again I'm redirected to the login page. And if I click on support team, then I'm loading this different layout with different side menu and a different uh, dashboard page. So, so here uh, this time this kind of structure uh, we are going to make use of multiple layouts or master pages. So let's begin with the coding part. So I have opened Visual Studio 2022. I'm creating a new project and selecting Blazor Server app and I'm naming it as Demo 34 and clicking on Next and I'm selecting .NET 6. So this will create me the default structure which come as a part of selected Blazor Server app. So it will load the default template. So inside this default template, I have this, uh, it is having this main layout page. So if we go and see the main layout page, it has the navigation menu, which is a sidebar. Then we have the main and in that it has, have, it is having the top header and the body section. So here we will remove this uh, target equal to blank and uh, we will make it as logout and we will redirect instead of this url we'll simply add a slash so we will we are keeping this main layout page as it is and we have a nav navigation menu attached to this layout page so this main uh, layout will keep as it is and we'll just make another copy of it, this main layout and paste it here and we'll name it as support layout so we are uh, this main layout is our admin layout and this is support layout and apart from this nav menu we are going to create one more menu which is for support team support menu so just to by forget it let's uh, make it as support team and in this nav menu let's make it as admin team and here on this uh, support menu let's change the few of the names let's make it to tickets let's make it to inbox so that we can differentiate it from okay so by default whenever we when we loaded this application we ha we had this main layout and this navigation menu now we have this support layout and support menu so apart from this uh, if you go on this index page so this is like a slash so whenever this application loads it will by default load the look for this index page and so we will uh, make it as let home and let's add another let's remove this and welcome to we will change it to like Welcome to admin panel or we can say dashboard. Okay. So this, this is the landing page of admin dashboard. Similarly, we'll create another page for support. Uh, let's name it as, let's change the route to support and let's name it as welcome to support dashboard. Now if we go on this support layout, here instead of navigation menu, we can have support menu. Fine. So this uh, 
support layout and main layout so main layout is for admin support layout is for support team and we have this navigation menu for admin and support menu for support team now these are we have added uh, two layouts here apart from this we'll add one more layout which we will name it as login layout okay so we have one more layout now login layout for login page we will remove the sidebar and we will remove this one also we will only have single section which is nothing but a body there's only body now here we will add two more pages with uh, uh, let's copy it from the existing one then so we'll copy the index page and paste it here and we'll name it as login another one we'll have and we'll let's name it as register so we have two pages login and register so let's make them empty and this login page is our landing page so we'll simply have the route as slash and for register we will have as register fine so we are having it now now what we have to do is like uh, in order for the login layout to this login page and uh, register page doesn't have any layout page so for them to load we'll have to mention the layout page because by default whatever if you go in this app razor the default layout is main layout so we have to uh, specify the layout uh, tag for this login and register page so let's implement that at the rate layout equal to login layout so this login page will load under this login layout and register page will also load under under the login layout now we have support so for support we will have to add support layout and okay so this is the landing page of support team fine now what let's have some content on this uh, login page so here i have created a simple div and inside the div i have a table and it is having a table row with the login and inside that second table row i have a td with the email id password and two buttons two href the first is uh, pointing to home and second one is pointing to support and here in the bottom i have a, a href link hyperlink with pointing to register so similarly let's add some content for register page as well so here i have added sim similar structure uh, same with a header and some input fields input fields and at the footer i have a div uh, hyperlink button with a reference to login page so like from register we can navigate to login page and from login if the user is not registered then he can navigate to the log uh, register screen so it's a simple screen no coding it's a blank uh, form now this class center we can add in this uh, css class to align the tables to the center let's create a class so here it's a center class margin left and margin right both are set to auto now let's run it now when we run our application we will uh, the application will automatically load with index as the with login as the startup page because we are having the route as slash now, so let's run it So in this application we have like added three layout pages one was by default then we added support and then we added the login layout for login and registration okay so we are getting this login screen we don't have a side menu nothing is there and we, if we click on register then it is redirecting us to a register so this login and register page both are under the same layout which is nothing but login layout now if the user is logged logged in successfully we can assume then if if the user is an admin then we can redirect the user to the admin team so it will like it's a admin layout and welcome to admin dashboard okay so we have a separate side menu and a separate admin dashboard and if the there is a, if the user belongs to support team then after authentication we can redirect the user to a support team so if user is support then welcome to support dashboard so like here we have a different menu and a different dashboard 
so this is like we can use uh, multiple uh, layout page and multiple master pages in our blazor server application so that was it for today if you like this video you can subscribe like and share with your friends thanks for watching